Hello guys, I'm Kimbo. This is my Honda Civic EK4. Today we gonna put a new radio in it. It is a two din uh, Android radio. Um, and I bought this also, especially for the nine inch uh, display. Um, I didn't uh, install it before, so uh, we're gonna try to install it step by step. Okay, let's go. I remo removed the passenger seat, so it's easier to work. Um, then for the center console, you got that screw, that and that. I already removed it. Uh, I also loosened the bolts also, so it's easier to, uh, to do. Okay, so that's it. So to remove this one, you got here two balls, and on the other side, two balls. Uh, I'm gonna loosen that so I can get it uh, away. So, guys, to remove this panel, I have to open this because my roll cage is in the way. I have to uh, remove the bolt on the on the uh, bottom side and then uh, here are two bolts also behind this panel so this panel must uh, come out also and and these screws are here and there so to remove the the glove box there are screws here Eight millimeter, and I remove them with uh, with my tool. So the glove box is loose. Oh, it is very loose. Okay, now you got the dead bolt and that one, and then I, I got the, the other panel. Okay, so I didn't know if I mentioned this, but here at the bottom is also a screw. Uh, I make them loose. You got to uh, you. Okay, let's loose on that side. Okay, okay it's. Loose. Then we got that screw there and that screw there. Okay, so I loosened this bolt, these bolts, and there is one bolt up the cigarette uh, lighter. So that got removed too. Okay, so this panel is loose. Then to to remove the climate control, there are two screws here behind and there. So I'm gonna lose the, them. I also ordered uh, before some uh, plastic tools on uh, AliExpress. Uh, they are easier and. Uh, I don't want to break with a screwdriver these uh, plastic uh, pieces apart. So uh, I'm gonna try it. Harder with my left hand. There was something flying so the first one is loose then I'll try the other one uh, remove the radio and we'll see uh, how far we're gonna get okay so the radio is out I uh, 
I put these plates, I made them loose. So uh, there are uh, two balls deep in here and deep in there. We're gonna lose and only one bolt on the other side here between that bolt and then the climate control uh, must go out okay let's check it okay guys so that's the, that screw that screw and the below screw is loose so we're gonna put here trying to be carefully I think this must go off. <sighs> Still a little stuck. Okay, we, we we got to remove these uh, these uh, plugs. Okay, so uh, I got some troubles to get it out. I see that this cable here is stuck. So uh, I switched the heater, and if we can see, there is a green plug that we must remove. Before uh, before we can get it out. Okay, so I removed it with my screwdriver, put on this tab. Then it's only stuck here with the plug of the of the clock. I'm gonna remove that, and then it uh, must come out. <laughs> it still want to come out. Uh, it's it's still stuck. So. Uh, now I see that the cable of the heat heating system is stuck here below. You can push the cable out of the hook, get it out here so it's loose. And now, oh, it comes off. Okay, that's one problem fixed. Now I have to build these fans over to my new new one my new holder so uh, okay gonna I'm gonna look for it see at the back of it yeah just gonna try to uh, get it off and then for the heating system it got four screws gonna lose that and uh, okay see how it will look with the new the new one hmm. much nicer already just gotta gotta see how to get it all installed but uh, that's a problem for later okay so I removed the heater with the, with the four balls I was looking at the uh, at the fans here are little tabs I'm gonna push it and pull it behind Okay, so I I did get off the fan. It was not so easy. So I have to uh, with my screwdriver break here. I think it is glued. I have to uh, do it with that again. That one is was coming uh, off. Over here was some space. So I thought, okay, it can it it it, it get loose here. So I. Uh, I did it with a screwdriver and I break it off. So now the uh, it is the fan of a half how you call it, and then the, that is a rest, so I can install it on my new 
wheel holder. So it must come on like that. So I'm gonna take the other ones off and then we'll see how to fix it. Okay. Okay, so uh this is the right fan. I just uh, put it on. Now we're gonna see how it will fit uh, on the uh, on the bezel. Okay guys, so I bought some uh, Superfloss glue, so I've got to be quick, um, the hot glue I tried was not a success, so I got 10 seconds to install this, it's uh, not easy, put some glue on it. seconds okay the other side Okay, it looks fine. Okay, and they work. Okay, guys. So uh, the super glue didn't did a job. A nasty spots here. Yeah first time so I use some other glue but they're in that's the most important they work okay let's try it Okay, so I uh, just fitted the radio in this holder. Okay, it's in. Okay, guys, so I connected all the the cables I found with it, GPS, 4G, uh, I think it is for uh, receivers or something like that. This is the the cables with the the, the battery voltage, the antenna, lightning, etc. and the and all the speakers itself. Uh, what we have here is a GPS antenna. I don't know what it is. It will be the 4G, I think. Uh, so what we got here, we got the original, uh, original plug, the old plugs for the radio. I connected some uh, extra speakers to it. So I think I'm gonna cut them here and make this uh, new one on it so I can leave the old 
cables like they are so I can put it in and uh, put everything together. So I welded these cables. These are are the main cables. Battery, ground, antenna, illumination. Uh, I don't know what the yellow is. Then uh, I uh, welded the speakers. I have only front speakers, so I used uh, the red for the positive and the black for the negative cable of the of the speaker. The rear speakers I did not use. I also have these uh, put together. Key one and two. I don't know for what they uh, were used for. And back, I don't also. Maybe back camera also, but uh, I don't need that for now. Okay, so uh, just test the radio. Okay, so I have plugged it, plugged it in. And we're gonna try what it does. Oh. Okay, it's working. So uh, that seems okay. Yeah, just put uh, the rest together. Okay, so what I have have I done? I put on this uh, plastic strap that the cables uh, don't uh, break on the on the plugs, then they can rest. Okay, so the main plug of the radio, I put it here. The cable of the clock is strapped here. The cables of the radio are normally long enough now. So we're gonna try to fit it in. Okay, so I connected these. I have to put the screws in. I found another problem. The original screw don't fit these because these distance is eight millimeter and the original are one centimeter ten millimeter. So uh, I'm gonna use to get that one centimeter because if I uh, force it, uh, maybe it will uh, break. Okay guys, I put the two knobs back in and the knob for that is looking very beautiful. The cables I put behind that thick cable. The cables I don't use at the moment. I uh, turn back to the side. The antenna cables through the glove box. I'm gonna strap them. Uh, I did away that the side cover with one screw and the rest you're gonna put off. And the cables are through like that. And here are the two antennas. At this moment, I'm uh, very happy with this new uh, radio. Okay, so I installed some apps. Um, menu, uh, what I've got, a speedometer from Cool Nix. Works fine, distance, maximum speed and current speed.
Okay, thank you for watching. See you in the next video.